each month, Google prepares a number of updates for the Android ecosystem. They work with OEMs in order to help get those monthly or quarterly security updates for Android. They also recently began their monthly Google Play system updates that I made an entire video about to help keep the community informed. But they also work on updates to individual apps and services that so many people use every day on their phone. So in preparation of the upcoming May 2022 Google Play system update, I want to recommend everyone go out and manually update the Google Play Store to version 30.3 or higher and the Google Play Services to version 22.15 or higher. The headlining feature for this month's Google Play system update is a new feature to Android's nearby share functionality. With these new updates in place, it will be much easier to use nearby share for things like files, links, and text when you're sharing between devices which are logged in to the same account. This update also includes critical fixes for Android when it comes to account management, system management, and diagnostic related services. The company has also been putting in work to update the Google Help app and bringing new developer features to Google and third party app developers. We can also see a lot of new changes and features are being prepared for the Google Play Store as well. Changes are impacting all sorts of aspects of the app, including the play as you download feature, app and game discovery, downloading and installing optimizations, and more. Now, in order to get access to these changes mentioned here, we need to update a couple of apps on our device. First, let's check the version of the Google Play Services app by bringing up the settings application, finding out where the apps section is, finding the toggle to show system apps. Sometimes this is in a three dot menu. Sometimes this is in the filter section and then searching for Google play services in this list. It's going to be a long list that you're going to need to go through. tapping on that and then scrolling all the way down to the bottom to check to make sure which version you're currently running. If you see that you're at a version which is below the recommended 22.15, then you can tap the app details and store button that you'll find to go directly to the app page for Google Play services. And from here, we can manually update Google Play services to the recommended version 22.15. Speaking of the Google Play Store, in order to get those changes we looked at earlier, we need to make sure that it is at version 30.3 or higher. Now, I have previously shown you how to check for an app update for the Google Play Store. But since then, Google has made a minor change. We're still going to be going to the About page. But the company has made it a bit more clear as to how to actually update this app. And again, you want to make sure the Google Play Store is at version 30.3 or higher. And even if you see you're already at version 30.3, you can go ahead and tap the update Play Store just to make sure that there hasn't been a newer version released since then. Most of us are going to be on an older version of the Google Play system update right now as the company has not announced a date for Android's May 2022 Google Play system update. But as always, you're gonna to want to manually check to see if you have an update available 
from the software section in the settings page and then manually restarting to make sure that that update has been completed. So be sure that you are up to date on the Google Play Store app and Google Play services. And again, don't forget to go in and manually update the Google Play system update on your device.